Hey, this is Ian. This is Jeff. And today we're working on the Weber DGV carburetor. All right. Let's take a few things off of it first, Ian, so we can talk about it. All right? Okay. Go. Okay, well, we're back, Ian. I'm going to take the cover off, and I'll make a few comments about it as I'm doing it. You know, I read somewhere the funniest car, you know, comment about this carburetor. Uh, one person wrote because they disliked this carburetor so much on the MGB that it looks like it was pirated off a Russian tractor. And I really couldn't agree more with that. A lot of people really do not like this carburetor on the MGB. Uh, but you're talking about a good running little carburetor that starts in cold weather, very dependable. You're probably not getting all the performance you would get out of an SU. But boy, it is the way to go. That was being stubborn if you want something that's super reliable and super easy to tune. And that's really what I'm going to talk about today is uh, how to tune it and how to uh, maintain the carburetor. So let me take a few more pieces off and we'll come back. Thanks. Bye. Okay, well I've got the breather off, the filter off, the assembly. Now I'm going to take the cover off. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six screws. And then it's also attached here at the side for the choke, which in this one is a, a manual choke. And so I will do that next, and we'll be right back with you. Okay, bye. All right, so I've gotten the screws off, and I've taken, point down here, I've, uh, I've got the uh, fuel line off, put it over here where it won't leak, and now I'm ready to take the cover off, the top cover of the carburetor off. I've got to slide the little automatic, I mean the manual choke bump it a couple times and it comes right up, a little gas out, you know, so I put some newspaper under it to catch it. And so there it is. There's the cover off. I'll talk a few things about, uh, say a few things about the uh, cover. Under this brass screw plug, mm -hmm. there is a filter. That filter is the gas coming in. You can see here, there's a needle valve right there. I'm and you can also see the floats, how they work. So when the gas needs gas, it comes down, gas comes out. There's also something called a power control valve right here. It's this plunger looking thing. It works when the uh, you have low vacuum and it allows more gas to come in to get into the carburetor. So that's kind of the cover. Of course, this is where the manual choke attaches. You can see this one I've had a long time. It's got a lot of wear right there. I wish they had a bushing. But uh, it still works. It closes up and it still works pretty pretty well. So anyway, that's the top of it. And if we look into the carburetor, we'll start talking about a few pieces in there in just a second. Okay, bye. Okay, we're back again. And we'll talk about some of the major components of the carburetor. I'll point to them. Um, you got ob obviously this is a fuel bowl. You can see in mine's got a little trash in the fuel, which kind of concerns me a little bit. So I'll have to clean that out. Uh, we've got on the side here, this is the accelerator pump assembly, and I'll be taking, showing you a, the, inner diaphragm, the inner diaphragm of that, which is this little area here. It's mushroom between the two metal parts. I'll show you what that looks like. Uh, we got down here at the bottom of the bowl, we got two jets. These are primary fuel jets. That um, This one being the primary, this is the secondary one. Primary one is the first one that opens. All right, and on top here we've got air corrector jets, primary, secondary, and then we have auxiliary venturis. This is the primary, this is the secondary, and on top we've got the accelerator pump, which only really pumps out of one side. And if you go over to the other side there, Ian, I'll uh, activate throttle. And if you can get a shot right here, can you get a shot right in there? Um, no. Here, I'll take this off and so you can see it. All right, ready? And uh, right there, you can see some fuel coming out when I activate the throttle. You see that? That's okay. the that's the accelerator pump pumping out of the jet on top. So when you give it some gas, it pumps a little bit of extra gas into the top directly, so it won't stumble on acceleration. All right, let's stop it there, and I'll take some of the components off and talk to you about the jets next. Okay, bye. One. Hi guys, and. We have disassembled the carburetor, and now we're going to talk about the components in part two. So this is part one. Thank you for watching. Bye.